Hi class, this is Professor Shriver and I'm giving you a short um, read through of the spreadsheet plot anthro data with your data. So there are tabs at the bottom of the sheet. First one is class raw data tab. This is where your data is. Um, most tabs have these orange boxes that relate some instructions and some comments about the data. Um, most of the calculations in this sheet are done on example raw data, which is the second tab. So these are data from an actual study. Um, there's 100 individuals here shown, and you need to go through a process, or what I did was work through using these data in the following tabs. First, converting height to from inches and centimeters, or for, sorry, from inches to centimeters, then uh, weight from pounds to kilograms. You always wanna write your units whenever you describe a variable. Once we have uh, height and weight in metric units, we can calculate the BMI, the body mass index, and that's done in the BMI tab. Working data is the raw data tab where I've substituted the uh, English units for metric units and added uh, BMI as one of the tabs. Um, this tab also shows the calculations of the averages and the standard deviations for each of these variables. So if you click over a cell or, or um, arrow through them, you can see the formula in this uh, formula bar uh, underneath the menu. So you can see how that calculation is done by looking at those. We often want to look at groups, different groups of individuals. Here we've grouped by uh, sex, so females in one group, males in another group. The averages are shown, calculated, and the standard deviations. With those two summaries, you can calculate things like the difference between the sexes for these variables and also the significance of that difference. So the smaller this number, uh, these are scientific notation, the more significant that difference, the more uh, real it is, um, or the more confidence we have that there's an actual difference between these groups. Um, Cohen's D is a, a measure of the effect size of that difference. So then we get into some plotting. Often we want to know how two variables relate to each other, so how um, uh, height and weight are related, for example, bisects. That's what's shown in this in this plot. Make sure you read the orange um, uh, um, uh, uh, descriptions as well. Um, this one is age by BMI, so uh, we don't see a real strong pattern here because there's not much variation in age in the sample that we're looking at. There's even less variation in, in the class, as you might expect. Histograms are a great way to look at data as well, especially if you have a single variable that you're interested in. How is it distributed? This shows the distribution of the body mass index measure in the example data uh, by sex. So this is a stacked histogram where females are on the bottom, males are on the top. And we do the same for um, a, a scatter plot of shoe size versus height, very strong relationship, but also very different between the sexes. Here's a histogram of height by sex. Um, so you can see the expected difference. And finally, a histogram of shoe size by sex or foot size in centimeters by sex. Um, hope this was helpful and I'll see you in class.